Good music has staying power, and few know more about that than the Pillows. This group, originating from Japan's northernmost prefecture, H H Hokkaido, have been rocking out together for over 30 years now. I love the Pillows. They're really unique because they've achieved a number of things few Japanese groups ever realize. A storied career, a consistent yet flexible style, and international fame. I'm going to be discussing their impressive place as cultural ambassadors to the second largest music industry internationally, and the career that got them there. So stand up, get anxious, and let's see what they're all about. Since their inception, the Pillows have had a core of three members. The frontman, Sawao Yamanaka, the guitarist, Yoshiaki Manabe, and the drummer, Shinichiro Sato. The group formed in September of 1989, after an invitation from bassist Kenji Ueda, who would later leave over disagreements with the other members. It's said that the band's name came from a record Manabe owned, titled Pillows and Prayers, that Yamanaka took a liking towards when he saw it displayed in Manabe's apartment. They released their first EP in 1990, with their first full-length album Moon Gold coming out the year later. The Pillows have always had a very quick release schedule, and they put out 8 albums in their first 10 years. Early music by the group was very experimental, with a couple of records having varying genres and styles. Parts of White Incarnation, Cool Spice, and Living Fields rocked a relaxed, jazzier feeling to them. It wasn't until their fifth album, Please Mr. Lost Man, in 1997 that the group really found what would later become their signature sound. A simple, rough alternative style, not far from popular US bands like Weezer. In interviews, the group said they were influenced by other 1990s alternative groups like Nirvana, The Pixies, and The Breeders. Around this time, the band ran into the original inspiration for their mascot Buster, a grotesque teddy bear. While visiting London, the bear caught the eye of the other band members and ended up making its way into the band's music video for Hybrid Rainbow. An artist's rendition also appeared on concert pamphlets, and it was later used for merchandise. Please Mr. Lost Man and other music in the style began to earn the group fame, but they only achieved international stardom through Fooly Cooly. The show's director, Kazuya Tsurumaki, was a fan of the group's work in alternative rock, and asked if they would write something for the show's ending theme. まあ、Unbeknownst to them, the Fooly Cooly gig would offer them a chance at recognition overseas, a rare opportunity for Japanese groups. The show was released in Japan in 2000, and aired in the United States on Adult Swim in 2003, which was a relatively mainstream outlet for anime at the time. It was an instant classic. The music of the Pillows was a great match for the raw, expressive, and over-the-top coming-of-age story. It was fucking cool. There wasn't any other way to say it. <laughs> After polishing off the six episode OVA, many fans wanted to hear more from the group, leading to the first of a small number of US tours in March of 2005, on the year of their 15th anniversary. The band continued their schedule of frequent album releases followed by tie-in touring in Japan and occasionally in the United States occasionally celebrating anniversary milestones with special shows and DVD releases in the 2010s. Over the course of their career, the Pillows have had bass players rotate in and out. The most recent member, Yoshinori Arie, joined in 2015 after Jun Suzuki was fired for bad conduct, who had been the band's bassist since 1999. A couple of years later, the band was invited back to record soundtracks for the new seasons of Fooly Cooly, titled Progressive and Alternative, along with another US tour across seven cities. The band celebrated their 30th anniversary in 2019 with the release of an original film with music and plot written by Sao Yamanaka, as well as a temporary museum showcasing unique and relevant items from all across the Pillow's career. 
The Pillows' discography consists of a massive 22 albums over the course of their 32-year career thus far, but if you look them up on Spotify, you'll only find five of them. While this might seem small, this is actually quite impressive. One of the things that's so unique about the Japanese music industry is that despite its size, it's very insular. Local CD sales are huge. The industry is fragmented between a much larger number of companies, so you won't be able to easily stream Japanese music on platforms that aren't YouTube. The number of tours done internationally by Japanese groups is so small that it all fits into one single Wikipedia page. All this results in a much smaller stake in the cultural landscape of Western nations. This is the scenario where the Pillows have beaten the odds. Despite their place of origin, they've wormed their way into the ears of Western fans, and behind them, they've dug a tunnel. While watching Fully Cooly, I was introduced to Japanese music that can be more than the extremely polished pop that composes most anime openings. I can search the Pillow's romanized song names, and despite the fact that I can neither read nor pronounce the titles of similar groups, I've gone on to listen and love them too. The Pillows are musical ambassadors to a wide group, from those who happened to stay up and watch Adult Swim on some night in 2003, to those watching the most anticipated anime of modern seasons. They're great! I hope you agree, and if you haven't decided yet, why not stay and listen for a bit to figure it out? There's a whole lot to see on the other side, and you were lucky enough to find the threshold. This has been Out of Characters. Thanks for watching my video, but there's one more to watch. I made this as a small collaboration with my friend Hizihei. If you want to check out his video on Fooly Cooly and how it uses the pillow's music, click here or check out the link in the description. He's a swell guy with a slick mustache and an eye for animation, so go subscribe to his channel. Why are you still here? Go away, I don't want you here. Just go watch his video and then come back and like both videos. Thanks for watching, goodbye.